Welcome to Professor Messer's N10007 Network Plus Certification course. This course is designed to take you through every topic you'll need to know to be able to pass the N10007 Network Plus exam from CompTIA. If you're already familiar with CompTIA, then you know that the CompTIA certification exams are among the most popular IT industry certification exams in the world. They allow you to build a solid foundation that you can use to get a job or get a better job. And in some organizations, having your Network Plus is a requirement for earning a job in that organization. And whether you decide to sit for your Network Plus exam or not, you'll have the satisfaction of learning something new. CompTIA is the Computing Technology Industry Association. It is the largest provider of vendor-neutral IT certifications in the world. The members of CompTIA are companies that manufacture, distribute, and resell this type of technology. And instead of those companies having their own individual certifications, they instead rely on CompTIA to create a centralized vendor-neutral certification. CompTIA certification exams are available in over 100 countries around the world and in many different languages. So no matter where you happen to be, you have the opportunity to earn one of these CompTIA certifications. My name is James Messer, and I'll be your guide for this Network Plus training course. I have 25 years of experience in IT, ranging from supercomputer operations through systems engineering in networking and security. I hold many different certifications, including the CompTIA A+, Network Plus, and Security Plus certifications. This course is for the Network Plus exam that's numbered N10007, and it was introduced on March the 1st of 2018. This course is designed to give you exactly what you need to know to earn that Network Plus certification, and I've created bite-sized videos that follow along with the CompTIA exam objectives. This entire course is available to watch online in high-definition video. And it's not just parts of the information you'll need. It is an entire course made available for you to watch online. I designed this course with one goal in mind, and that's to create a strong foundation of technology professionals that can watch these videos, read a book, do some hands-on, and go out and earn that Network Plus certification. This entire course is free to watch online. There's no catch. There's no registrations. And none of the information is held back. All of my videos, every minute of every video, is available for you to watch online absolutely free. If you need to take these videos offline, I have a version of this course that you can purchase. And all of my course notes are also available. You can find the video index and information about all of these products on my website at professormesser.com. The Network Plus exam is 90 minutes long, and you could get a maximum of 90 questions on the exam. The passing score is 720 in a scale of 100 to 900. And we think that every question is worth a different number of points, so it's difficult to determine what percentage of questions you have to get right to earn that passing score. On the exam, you'll have the traditional multiple choice questions where you might choose A, B, C, or D to get the correct answer. But you might also get what CompTIA calls performance-based questions. These might be fill in the blank or matching questions. You might have to put things in a particular order. They might give you a scenario and have you complete that scenario online. Or they might provide a command prompt and ask you to perform a particular function. There are five domains that cover the topics for the Network Plus exam. The first domain is networking concepts, and that's 23% of the exam topics. Infrastructure is domain 2.0, and that covers 18% of the exam. Domain 3.0 is network operations, and that's 17% of the exam. Domain 4.0 is network security, 20% of the exam. And finally, 22% of the exam is domain 5, network troubleshooting and tools. If you're prepping for your exam, one of the most important things you can do is to download the exam objectives from the CompTIA website. They will tell you exactly what you need to know before you walk in the door of the exam room. Of course, these videos are available for you to watch. And all of the topics from those exam objectives are covered in this video series. It's also a good idea to get a good book. I use the one from GTS Learning to help create this video course. And you can find more information about that book at professormesser.com slash gts learning. 
If you have questions as you're going through the course, you might ask for help on my online chat that's at the bottom of every page on my site. And you can usually find someone in the chat room who might be willing to help you out with questions along the way. And of course, you want to get as much hands-on as possible. If you'd like to look through some labs and some other recommended sources, you can go to professormesser.com slash net plus dash resources. One of the first things you should have done is download the exam objectives. And you can use those exam objectives as a checklist as you're studying. Before you walk into the exam, you can refer back to this checklist and determine what topics you know really well and which ones you may want to study a little bit more before walking into the exam. Before you book your exam, you may want to stop by the testing center to see what their testing environment might be like. Not all testing centers are the same. Some are a little bit nicer than others. And you may want to look around your area to find one that's perfect for you. These certification exams are an intense 90 minutes. So you want to be sure that you're well rested and ready to take one of these certification exams. If possible, you may want to arrive a little bit early on site. They may be able to accommodate you a little earlier. Or you may want to use that extra time as a last minute study before walking into the exam room. The testing environment should be one that would allow you to relax and take the exam. But if there are any problems with noise or the environment, make sure you inform the testing center right away and don't wait until the end of the exam. There are many different strategies for taking these certification exams. The CompTIA exams allow you to jump to any question at any time. So some people prefer skipping over the initial performance-based questions and completing all of the multiple choice questions first and then going all the way back to the beginning to complete the performance-based questions. Some people prefer getting the performance-based questions out of the way immediately. It all depends on your particular style and what strategy you want to use for completing the exam. One nice feature on the exam is you're able to mark questions and then come back to those at a later time. If you're not 100% sure of a question, you may want to mark it, finish all of the questions on the exam, and then you can very easily jump back to any questions that may have been marked. Once you've completed all of the questions, you're able to submit the exam. And it's useful if you can go back through every question one final time. There's no penalty for guessing, so make sure you've selected an answer on every single multiple choice question. Once you submit the exam, you'll know immediately if you passed or not. And as you're walking out of the testing center, they'll provide you with some certified results that are printed off. Even if you didn't pass the exam, make sure you get a copy of these results. This paper will tell you exactly which areas you missed on the exam. So if you're coming back again for a second try, you'll have an idea of where you should study a little bit more. So now you're ready to earn your Network Plus certification. You can get a book on my website at professormesser.com. And of course, my entire video course is indexed on that site as well. You can ask questions on the real-time chat at the bottom of every page on my site. And of course, you can send me a message directly. There's a Contact Us link at the top and the bottom of every page on my site. Best of luck with your studies. And I look forward to seeing you earn that Network Plus certification.